Hey everybody, and welcome back to The Posture Project. As always, I'm your host, Justin Archer, aka The Posture Guy, your number one source on pain, posture, and performance. And today, I wanted to talk to you about how to go about correcting what I call eye symptoms. Because for those of you that can recall, on June 29th, 2007, the iPhone, the first iPhone, was released to the public. And it was huge, you know, before we had Blackberries and other kind of smartphone or texting capabilities, but the iPhone really revolutionized it and put it in a lot of people's hands. And it's a great device, you know, I have the newest one out now. Um, but it was around that time, or I'd say within four to six months uh, of the release of that first iPhone, that I saw my first ever eye symptom client. And it was a gentleman, I honestly can't remember his name to this day, but I do remember the conversation because I saw him and basically asked him, hey, what brings you in? And he says, well, I think I have iPhone elbow. And I kind of laughed because I thought I'd know what he meant, but I said, well, what, what do you mean? And he said, well, have you seen, you know, this, this iPhone? And I was like, yeah, I've played with them in stores and everything. And he, he brings his out and he shows me all the things it can do. I said, wow, that's amazing. He says, yeah, it is. But I've been spending so much time on it. And he says, I've noticed that, let me see if I can kind of show you what he showed me from a side view. That since I've been on it, I've been looking down, my, my head's been, you know, forward and down, my back rounds, my shoulders go forward, and I've been on it so much, I mean, this thing could do everything. I almost don't need a computer anymore, he told me. You know, I can text from it, I can email, there's maps, there's music, there's just so many things it can do. It's great, but now my elbow's starting to hurt. And he says, you know, I thought you might be able to help explain to me why that is. And I said, well, sure, you know, get back into that position for me, like how you'd normally use it. He says, okay, granted he's standing, but he's doing this. And I said, well, notice your shoulder is shifted way forward in the joint capsule. So now your shoulder has lost a lot of its function, right, because uh, it's a ball and socket joint, and now it sends that down to the elbow. Well, the problem is, is your elbow is really just a hinge joint. There's a little bit of rotation involved, but nowhere near as much as the shoulder joint. So now the elbow has to overcompensate really for what the, the function that's missing in his shoulder. So he's spending all this time, you know, he's looking at, because it's a smaller screen. I mean, back then I think it was only three inches. Now it's like four inches or three and a half, a little bit bigger. But he's looking forward, his upper back is rounded, his shoulders are forward, and he's just internally rotated with his arms, looking at this thing for hours and hours per day. And obviously since the first generation iPhone, um, and iPods, and now we got tablets and everything. And even if you're not a, you know, an Apple fan like I am, you know, there's other tablets. There's the Kindles and the Nexuses, and you know, there's just tons of them out there. Uh, I'm trying to think of some of the Microsoft Surfaces and all this stuff that people are holding in front of them. You know, we live on our phones and mobile devices now, and we just are constantly in this position. And so it causes a lot of our flexion and internal muscles to become overly tight and stiff and our extensor muscles and external rotators on the back side of our body to become really lengthened and, and weak. So what I wanted to share with you today was a few movements and exercises, mobility drills you can do to reverse that, to basically stretch out and, and loosen up the muscles on the front side, the flexors and internal rotators, and then actually some exercise down below this video, which, uh, which I've linked to, which you can work to strengthen your extensor muscles and, and external rotators, all right? So let me set this aside. Uh, little pre uh, preface to this exercise routine. You're gonna need a, uh, a broomstick or something like it. So I'm sure you have something similar to this at, uh, in your home. And then maybe I have a big therapy foam block here. It's uh, 18 inches tall, but you can also just use a chair, all right? So first of all, think about all that, you know, I'll go back to this position, that internal rotation. Well, your pec, your pectoral muscles, major and minor, get really tight, and those are going to basically curl in your arms inward. So we want to stretch those out, all right? Now, I've tried a lot of different techniques on how to stretch this. I think the easiest is just using your body weight against the ground. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to lay flat down on your stomach like so, and you're going to put your arm out, hopefully you can see this here, I'll move over, you're going to put your arm out anywhere between 45 degrees above your shoulder height to 90 degrees. It's going to probably be better about 45 degrees, okay? And you can play around with this because people, depending on how tall you are, how big your phone is, how you hold it, 
it's going to be a little bit different, but somewhere between 90 and 45, all right? So you're going to put your palm down. You want to externally rotate your arm. So hopefully you can see that in the video. You don't want your shoulder forward on the ground. You want to externally rotate it like so. Hold it there and then rotate your lower body over like so. So this is staying on the ground. Okay? And you're going to feel a pull right there on the chest, maybe the front of the shoulder, maybe even the bicep muscle, the front of your arm, depending on how tight you are. And you're going to hold this for one or two minutes. Now, if this is uncomfortable keeping your head in this position, lift it up. You can take a yoga block or a stack of books and kind of rest it on there, okay? So you're going to do one to two minutes. I would say preferably two because, let's be honest, most of us need that amount of time to let those muscles go. They're really, really tight. So let's say two minutes on your right side, two minutes on your left side, okay? Now, for the next movement, you're going to want to grab a broomstick like so. I'm going to lay down this way. Hopefully you can see me there. All right, and you're gonna grab one side like so, take it across the outside of your arm. Actually, I'm sorry, I'll do it this side so you can actually see better. So you're grabbing on the outside, it goes on the outside of your elbow, crosses your body like so to the opposite knee. So I'm holding on with my right hand, and the other end, I just have a tennis ball stuck on the end here so you can see it better, is on the outside of my left leg, okay? Now, I'm gonna bring my arm up so it's 90 degrees at the shoulder and 90 degrees at the elbow. Basically, imagine if you would, you know, I'm sitting up or, uh, or standing up or sitting using my eye device or tablet, right? It'd be that similar position, except now I'm just on my back. And some of us use it on our back. <laughs> so you're here, and then what you're going to do is you're going to apply with your other hand pressure on the elbow downward, basically pushing the shoulder back backwards uh, towards the back of the capsule because uh, like I said earlier we're all kind of shrugged forward like that and we want to get it back uh, towards the ground so let me get in position here okay so you're pushing down and then with the left knee I'm pushing out so I'm creating this external rotation as you can see so here I am relaxed and then when I push the knee out this hand goes out that way the elbow comes in and then I can push like so and you can try changing a little bit, like you can bring the stick up a little bit, so now I'm a little bit more in shoulder flexion. Okay, so you can change a little bit of the varying degrees anywhere from here. Think about wherever you're going to hold your, uh, your mobile device, your tablet or your iPhone, Blackberry, whatever you're using. And think about that range of motion, the whole time pushing this elbow down. So one to two minutes on one side, and then one to two minutes on the other side. All right? All right. So now... We've basically stretched out the internal rotators. We've put the, the humerus, the arm bone, back towards the, the back of the shoulder capsule. And now what we want to do is promote some thoracic extension because, like I said, a lot of us, our upper backs have kind of turned into turtle shells. So you're going to get, a, you know, here I'm using a large therapy foam block. You can use a chair at home. Basically what you're going to do, I'm going to show you two versions of this. One's a little bit easier, one's a little bit more advanced, okay? You're going to put your elbows on it, and you're going to take your hands and try to reach your own shoulder blades. So you're going to walk your knees back, grab your shoulder blades. You can rest your head on the block, and then just let your shoulder blades drop together like so, okay? And as you exhale, you're going to let your back arch more and more. And you're going to hold this for one or two minutes. Now, the more advanced way is to take that broomstick you had earlier, Put your elbows together, and then you can kind of inch your hands out apart, like so. So now your elbows are in. You're really promoting a lot of external rotation at the shoulder joint, and then drop down. And you can even apply a kind of a tensioner by extending the arms out and then back overhead, okay? And you're going to really feel this in your upper back and shoulders. And it feels really, really good, especially in that upper back area. All right, and again, that's one to two minutes. Uh, if it's a one-sided exercise, one to two minutes per side. On this one, we're working both sides evenly. That's one to two minutes as well. All right. Um, now, I've also included three exercises below because these are kind of more stretching and mobilizing exercises. The three uh, exercises that I've linked to below, they're going to have uh, independent exercise video tutorials, and those ones are really going to help um, promote. 
uh, really strengthening your extensor muscles and external rotators, right, to help kind of keep the work you did here. So do those three first, and then do the three linked to down below. The other thing you can do throughout the day to help kind of maintain the effort and time you put in with these exercises is just kind of be more conscious and aware of how you use your iPhone or mobile device, right? So where's mine? Here's mine. So let me get a side view here. All right. So whereas a lot of us I know would hold it kind of below, our backs would round, and we're like this, right? Instead, try to bring it up to eye level so you're not looking down, because notice what happens when I look down, my backgrounds, right? So bring it up to eye level, bring your head up and back, that's automatically gonna promote more thoracic uh, extension right there. It's gonna feel a lot better on your head. And then try th thinking about externally rotating, just like I was doing with the broomstick, while you're there, okay? So instead of being like, let's see if I can get this from the front, instead of kind of being like this and internally rotated, think about holding up and then externally rotating. Get you a better view of that, like so, okay? And just try to think about keeping it, at, again, at eye level and not looking down. Obviously, you can see one is gonna be much better for your body, okay? So practice those cues, think about those cues when you're using your eye device, and then use these uh, three exercises I showed you and the other three linked to below uh, to kind of reverse a lot of that you know, that, that flexion and internal rotation that just kind of comes with the territory of using these wonderful devices that we have. All right, so hopefully that helps you combat some of the eye symptoms that you may be dealing with in your life. Uh, I know it has for myself and some of my other clients. But uh, if you have some other suggestions, you know, please leave them in the comment section below. And maybe you're someone who doesn't use a mobile device, but I'm sure you know someone, a coworker, a friend, a family member, who is on a device like this way, way too much, and you can see their posture shows it, and they complain of things like, you know, like my client years ago back in 2007, you know, complained about the iPhone elbow or carpal tunnel syndrome or shoulder pain, neck pain, headaches, migraines, upper back pain. All that can be actually caused by using something like this. But let's not blame the device, okay? This is wonderful technology that gives us access to information you know, instantly, it's in our pockets, it's video cameras, it's, it's just amazing. We have to take responsibility for our own health and think about what is the body we're bringing to the device, okay? Because that we have control over, that you can correct. You can't really change this, okay? So anyways, thank you for joining me inside today's video. I really appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you inside the next one. Until then, take care and keep moving.